Hello and welcome. In this short video, we will show how to configure zones and inputs on the SPC intrusion system. We will cover end of line configuration, look at various zone types, zone names, and inspection of status. For this video, we will be using the SPC panel's webpage. We must log in and enter full engineer mode. Selecting configuration, we can see a full overview of all the inputs on the SPC system. This includes any zones on the controller, Xbus, or wireless. You can access zones in the SC system through a manner of means, and you can access them directly on the hardware controller or through the inputs menu. Using the hardware controller, we can select the different end of line we wish to use on the system. We can set the name of the zone we are editing at this time. And we can also edit the zone type. Different types of zones on SPC have different operation and attributes are defined and available for particular zone types. Editing zone one, we can see that there are a number of options. The exclude options are used for parts set. The local will ensure that an alarm is triggered locally, but will not be reported. Chime is used to signal an entry on the keypad. And the various other options change and alter the operation of the zone. Changing to an alarm zone type, you will see that different options have appeared. These include 24 hour, local onset. This is dependent on the zone type you have selected. Any zone in the SPC system can be configured to be any zone type, and all alarm zones will have the same attributes. For more information on the individual zone attributes and elements, please check the SPC manual. Selecting status, we will be able to see how our zone is performing. And the SP system provides an overview of this in engineer mode. We can see here the end of line quality is considered good. The input is closed and the status is normal. Refreshing, we can see that the zone is now actuated and the end of line quality remains good. Each zone has an individual log which shows the resistance changes and zone state. You may see an out of bounds. An out of bounds occurs if that the end of line selected is not compatible with the configuration option. So for example, if you had a 4K7 resistor in a 2K2 configuration, this would signal an out of bounds. This must be addressed before you leave full engineer mode. Other items you may see in the status menu may be unstable. Unstable occurs when the SP system is unable to get a valid sample from the zone. Generally, this is down to poor wiring or interference on the line. The other option, which is always generally down to interference, is noisy, and this will appear during the status. A noisy zone, again, may cause a false alarm and should be addressed.